Hi guys, so today I have a lot of empties to share with you and just FYI my son is over here in his little playpen So if you hear some rustling or jingling or whatever, that's just him. He's currently he's actually eight months old today That's today's his like eight month birthday as I'm filming this so I have a bunch a bunch of stuff like so much stuff that like this little box thing that I keep it all in is really overflowing and I really need to film this video. Let's start off with a couple makeup wipes. These are the Honest Company 3-in-1 facial towelettes. I found that these were not as damp as I would like, but they were still pretty good at removing makeup. I probably will not be repurchasing them just because I have other favorites and those would be these ones right here. <laughs> these are the Aveeno Ultra Calming and I love these guys. I will always continue to repurchase these because they are super duper awesome. Next I have a favorite lotion. This is the Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It's the green label one. I like the blue label one as well. I don't know if there's really a difference between the two, but this stuff is great. I even use the Aveeno Baby brand on Mr. Calvin over here too, and it works really well. It has like a kind of a silicone-y kind of feel to it, so it's not super oily and it doesn't make like leave a residue or make you feel too like sticky or anything. It just absorbs really, really well, and I think it lasts way over like the 24 hours that it says that it lasts. This stuff actually does what it says it's gonna do. Next is a moisturizer, which I've had for quite a while now. This is the Simple Replenishing Rich Moisturizer, and I did really like this. It doesn't have a strong scent or anything. I felt like it did the job. It wasn't too heavy, kind of more on the lighter side, but I do have oily skin, so I don't like to have a super heavy moisturizer. I did enjoy this, and I may actually repurchase, but I have a ton of like skincare samples of stuff. So one day in the magical future when I actually run out of that stuff, I might actually give this another go. But I did really like it. Here's an Honest Company. This is the shampoo and body wash in the dreamy lavender scent. I do like this and I do really like it. I think I like it more as a body wash than a shampoo. I feel like I have to use a ton to actually get it to lather up in my hair, but for some reason it's a little bit easier to get it lather up, lathering up in a loofah to use on my body. So I do have another one of these because it I went through the shampoo like so much faster than I went through the conditioner, so I bought another one just so I could continue to use it with the conditioner. But I I don't know if I'll repur repurchase after this last one. Next I have an Honest Company lotion. This one is the Perfectly Gentle or Sweet Orange Vanilla one. I have tried almost all of the lotions now and I think this one was my least favorite scent. But I do like the lotion as an actual lotion. This scent just wasn't my favorite. This lotion is a really, really awesome one. It smells delightful, like so, so good. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Body Butter. And this stuff is nice and thick and really rich and makes you really feel like you're moisturizing. And maybe I sound like I am contradicting myself here because I like to have a nice light face moisturizer. And then I also say that I like this lotion because it doesn't have a greasy feel to it. But I like this because it does feel really rich. So I totally don't make any sense right now. But I like this stuff to use on my hands because then you, when you're touching stuff, you're not making it all oily. But I like this to use on my body because I like to feel like my body's like really being moisturized and like lathered and slathered up with like coconut oil and stuff like that. So that's why I like this. Plus it smells delightful. Probably might be repurchasing this once I go through all the other Honest Company lotions that I have. Here is a hair product. This is the Tresemme Platinum Strength Straightening, Strengthening Heat Protectant Spray. I did enjoy this. Nothing really special to say about it. It's a heat protectant. I feel like it did what it needed to do. Didn't smell like particularly good or bad or anything, you know, just smells like a hair product. Not like a super favorite, but also not a not a bad product either. Just kind of picked it up because it was on clearance at Target, as you can see, and it did what it needed to do. This is a toner from Yes to Grapefruit. It's the Correct and Repair Tone Perfection Toning Mist. I did like this because it was an easy way to tone because you just sprayed it on your face and you didn't have to worry about it because I must admit I'm like super bad about my skincare. I'm not the most like steady or religious like I'm really not very good at remembering to do the same steps every day so having something that was in a convenient little spray bottle spray can was a lot easier than actually like I never like I hardly ever toned until I bought this and then like I used this <laughs> plus it smells good it smells like grapefruit here is a dry shampoo from Clairol this is the hair food sulfate free has infused with kiwi fragrance I don't remember oh it smells good but it doesn't smell like I mean, super duper awesome or anything. It was a nice sh dry shampoo. I feel like it had less 
white cast than usual, which is always a big thing with me and my darker hair. I don't, I like, can't stand the ones that have too much of a white cast. And I feel like this one was a little bit on the less white casty side of things. Here's another dry shampoo. I feel like this one was also less dry casty. This is the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion one. Just a dry shampoo. I, don't, I Because I don't remember a lot about this one, I feel like it probably wasn't like super awesome. You know, like if I'm going through this bucket of things, like if I see something that I really liked, I will remember it. But this I don't really have a lot of feelings on, so I feel like it wasn't that memorable. Oh look, we have another one of my favorite makeup wipes. This is a conditioner. It's the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Hydrating Conditioner and this stuff smells delightful. So good. I also have the shampoo. This stuff smells so stinking good. It's like not even funny. It really does. It smells like super duper awesome. Um, I feel like I did enjoy using these, but I don't know. I don't really, I can't remember much about them, but they do smell really good. I feel like I might have a review on these on my blog. I'll link it if I do. Here's another one of those Honest Company lotions. This is the Dreamy Lavender one. I love this scent. I really did. I, like I said, I like this lotion, but I loved this scent. It was super, super awesome. It just smells like Dreamy Lavender, like it says. Next, I have a Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist, and this is a toner spray. This, I think, has gone bad. I got this in, like, one of the very first Ipsy bags I ever, ever got, which I've been, well, I'm not now, but I had subscribed with them from the very beginning. So this was, like, really old, and I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to use it anymore. So I threw it out because it was getting old, but I don't, I didn't really use it very much. I felt like it had too strong of a scent, and it was a little too intense, like, almost kind of stingy. So that's why I didn't really use this. Next we have a foundation. This is a Flower Beauty About Face Foundation. I wear the color LF3 and I really do like this. It's not my typical full coverage. I love a full coverage like heavy duty foundation but this one is more on the lighter side and yet I really liked it. I liked it for those days when I just wanted to kind of have a little bit of coverage but didn't want to fuss with it too much. Didn't want to worry about it like kind of look like didn't want to look like I had a bunch of makeup on which is how I usually look <laughs> but I did really enjoy this and I probably will be repurchasing it because I I did. I like this foundation and I love so much Flower Beauty stuff. If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I love Flower Beauty. And they came out with a bunch of new stuff recently, and I haven't been able to find it yet, but I can't wait till I get my hands on it. Next, we have a couple sponges here. We've got, this was an Ulta brand one, and this is the Real Techniques one, and I just felt like these were just getting old, and it was time to replace them. Uh, this Ulta one actually, like, felt like it was kind of falling apart in places. Like, I guess like when I go to wring it out, I kind of dig my nails into it a little bit and so you can kind of see like little nail marks on it. Not cool. I'm using the other one that came in that set right now and I'm not having the same issue with this. So I feel like this one wore out a lot quicker than this one is. I don't know what that's about. And the Real Technique sponge is just because it's getting old, you know, it's not, it hasn't worn down on me or anything. There's a couple spots that look like it could be kind of tearing a little bit, but nothing drastic and I've had this for quite a while. So I would definitely, I think I would recommend both of these guys. They're just not the same as the Beauty Blender though. I must admit that. Here's another little moisturizer. This is the Be Fine. Food Skin Care Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15. This was a nice lightweight one. I liked this one. It was similar to the Simple one because of its lightweightness. It didn't have a strong scent or anything like that. This, um, I like to use it during the day because it had that little bit of SPF in there, but I just kind of ran out of it. I don't know if I will be repurchasing. I don't think I purchased this. I think I got it in like a, like a, maybe a gift with purchase or like a, one of those, um, what are they, beauty subscription, like Ipsy or something like that. I feel like that's where I got this, but I don't think I will be buying a full size just because like I said, I've got a ton of skincare stuff that needs to be gone through. Oh look, another Aveeno wipes, like for real. I guess that shows you how much I love those things. Here we have a hair product. This is the Fakai Glossing Cream, and I got this in a set a couple Christmases, maybe a few Christmases ago, and I did really like this. I felt like it made my hair look super duper smooth, made it easier to straighten, and actually gave it more of a sleek look. I really did like this. I might actually buy a full size of this if I think about it next time I'm purchasing hair products because I really did enjoy using this. Here's a hair product from Eva NYC, the all Up All Night Volumizing Spray. This does actually volumize. I hate when I get products that I want to use to volumize my hair and they don't actually work, but this stuff actually does work. If you spray it all over your hair right before you blow dry and then you blow dry, you've got like a freaking afro going on. This stuff is really nice. I might actually repurchase this. 
This is another product that I was super duper in love with. This is the Jane Carter Solution Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. And I loved this stuff. Like if I had curls one day and then I went the next day and didn't want to like totally wash my hair, I would use this to kind of revitalize my curls. Just my fake curls, not even like my real hair texture. And it gave them a little bit of body back and I really enjoy using this. It's not a real heavy leave-in conditioner. I like that it was so light because sometimes if you use a leave-in conditioner and you spray just a little too many times, you've got like a grease ball going on. And this stuff never did that to me. So I will probably, I would, I'm gonna say I'm definitely gonna repurchase this. I forgot all about this. It's been months that I've been collecting all these things and I forgot all about this. So I had to leave this out and remember that I wanna buy a full size. Here's my favorite hairspray. This is the L'Oreal Elnet Satin. I like the unscented one. I don't even know if this is the unscented one or not. And I do love this hairspray. I am out of it right now. I don't have one and I need to buy another one. So I need to remember this. Here's an e.l.f. <laughs> primer. Yes, dear? I know, you're getting tired. Hey. He's like, Mama, play with me. You've been recording for 13 minutes now. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. The little doodad broke in it, which like happens all the time with e.l.f. stuff. Like the little actual thing that goes down there and gets the product out for you is broken. So I'm just tired of messing with it. Here are a few chapsticks. We have the Blistex Medicated Lip Balm, SPF 15 the Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning, and the Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean. I love this. I love vanilla stuff, so I love this. I love Burt's Bees anyway. But I feel like this one, the Ultra Conditioning one, wasn't any better than other Burt's Bees. And this Blistex one, I actually really like. This was like super duper hydrating. I have a couple of brow products and a mascara. This mascara is the Max Factor Masterpiece Max. And I really enjoyed using this mascara. I feel like when I first started using it, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. But after a while, like, you know how you kind of let your mascara age for a couple weeks and it turns out to be a little bit different. I liked it after those couple of weeks went by. At first it was a little too thin, but I liked it afterwards. These two brow products are on total opposite ends of the spectrum. This Flower Beauty one, this is the Draw the Line Eyebrow Pencil in the color Dark Brunette. And it has a little spoolie on the one end, so yay for that. But I feel like I went through this like so fast. like. I, it must not have a lot of product because I went through this so quickly. I also didn't like it because I had like more of a thick kind of texture and I like my brow products to be a little more, uh, what do you call it, like a little like drier almost, which is what this pixie one is. This pixie one is the natural brow duo in the color medium brown and it comes with a gel on the one side and I used to really really like this gel but I've run out of it like for a long long time now. And this on the other end is a, it has like a triangular kind of shape to it and it is on the dry side like I said and I think this, this color could actually probably go with like a lot of people, man I don't even have enough to show you a swatch, but I think it could go with a lot of hair colors. I think it's more on the taupey side of things and it's very cool, not very cool, but it is on the cool side of brown which is something that I really like for my brows. I don't like them to look like super duper red brown. And lastly we have a candle. This is the Lilac Blossom Candle from Bath and Body Works and it smells smelled really really good and it reminded me of the garden what on earth was that one called garden bouquet which was out a few years ago and I really really loved that scent and I could never find that candle again I think it was only out that or at least they discontinued it that year that I bought it I loved that scent so much this one smells kind of similar so that's why I picked this one up but it's all gone now I gotta figure out how to clean this out and use this for something else so Calvin is getting a little antsy over there, so we're gonna get going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Check out my mommy channel if you are interested. It's Lena's Life. I'll leave a link down below like I always do. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye. This is Calvin. He is eight months old today. And he's getting antsy and he doesn't want me to film too much longer. But I thought I would show you guys this cute, adorable little boy. Hey, baby. Hey, welcome there. Oh.